So in this video, I'll show you how to make a another wheel. This one gonna be like a different design, but I'm just show you how to make another wheel. It's gonna be pretty simple. I'm gonna try to make it as fast as possible, but let's gonna hop right into it. Let's see. So first, we're just gonna start off making a circle. So this is gonna be like a wheel wheel, and it'll be like 19 inch. So. Type in 19, it's the outer diameter, not including the tire. I made the tire last. So, yeah, put like a lip on it. Let's see. So your design doesn't have to be exactly like mine, but just showing you the different ways of making wheels. So now we're going to use a soaker pattern. So it's pretty much it's going to make a pattern and a soaker diameter. So right now I'm gonna play with the designs how I like it. You do your own way or you can do exactly like mine. Let's delete this pattern.
that out. Yeah, I'm going to go with that one. Now, when it's exactly like this, we cannot make it to a full 3D object because some of those are the edge and sketches are open, so we got to close those. But sometimes you might get lucky and be able to do it. Let's see, but I doubt it. Yeah, only these work. So, we got to go edit it. I'm going to delete this for now. So, since this is like a rim, and the rough edges could be just left under the lip through the thick part. So, we're just going to do like this instead of making a circle. And that's why I meant about the circle. Go to arch. And like this. So doing this would be perfectly symmetrical with the other circle, but uh, it took a while to do this. So, but actually, not too hard to push it the other way. So I'm just gonna continue. Well, a while doesn't matter, as long as you make the lip a little bit thicker than the edges. I'm going to show you exactly what I meant about the lip. That's that right there. Right here. Do like that. That was the lip. But let's go to the line. Do like this. I think this is the last one. Uh, sometimes like that happens too. So when that situation happens, first make sure you hit the white runes. Yeah, I don't think I hit the connector to the white one. So I think that should be it. It should work now. Okay, I know it's now. So delete the middle part. The sketch so they still the sketches are still open on this part delete now right here you pretty much have to use this way so I go like this mm -hmm. Mm Make sure you're hitting the green dots. Yeah, I didn't do that with white. Undo. Let's go again. One more time. Voila. There we go. So at this point, we're going to have to go ahead and make it to a full object. So some of them is not working, so again, go back to edit. So only three of them. So I don't think I did this one right. Undo. Sketch. Yeah, I can tell that one ain't done right. See? So sometimes you gotta zoom in to make sure you're hitting the dots. That's a vital part of making the, uh, t turning the et uh, sketches to 3D objects. Yeah. 
think it was this one up here too. See, that one like that. So, thing about 3D designing, you gotta take your patience. Your patience is vital to making you what you need. Now you can't speed up your art. That, that should be okay. But we'll find out. Uh, so still this one messed up. So continue back here. Exactly that open. So go back to this. And that should be good. See? That blue could tell is a closed section. And it should be all done. So right here, you're just gonna make it one inch thick. See what should I do? Yeah. So that should be it. Now go back to that rope plane. This is yeah. Make it visible. Visible. New sketch. Now we're gonna make the back part in the front. Where the lip? Well, let's see. I'm trying to say what the depth should be. How far I should push the rim back. So I'm gonna start off with the lip. And you see how I've been in a little bit because I squared these off. They ain't completely round, so I squared them off. So I'm gonna go in of the diameter. So, I think it was 19 inches too, so make another one. 19. And again, this is the real, real. So, like this. So, there's two ways of doing this. Asymmetrical. So, you're going both ways or just go one way. So, I think I'm going to go, let's see. Okay, I go both ways. I want to push it back, but that's good enough. It's far back too. So, yeah, nine inches is about the average de de depth of a back wheel. But let's see. I'm gonna go to put exact dimensions of real wheels. So, like a fat tire for like a Mushilago or a Zonda. It'd be 355, 345, 345 millimeter. See? I think that's pretty fat. <laughs> I actually might go down a little bit to a 305. That's just type of course sports car. Yeah, not type cool, but type cool super car. Not hyper car though. Okay, I don't know what just happened there. Oh, I know what I just did. I cut off instead of as join. Edit feature. So let's just go to edit feature and put as join. Or let's see. Yeah, join. You do new solid or join. But you usually go with join. So like that. And it's probably like this. I can do this. Let it go in a little bit. Put some little detail to it. Now making a wheel the tire is the hardest part because you gotta make the thread. And usually I make a different thread every time.
Okay, that should be good. And let's, let's go back to make another sketch. <laughs> now we're gonna make the center hub. So this I'm gonna make it to about 3.5. kind of wanted to make these a little bit wider but it should be okay for now so this I'm gonna do it let's see actually go back and do undo undo and just face right here. New sketch. And go to 3.5. Okay, it goes straight back instead of going both ways. 3.5 in. 3.5. And let's go 3 is just back. Going the other way. And make sure it's joined. It's had, uh, and that goes directly to the real hub. And probably break that between that. Actually, don't go three inches back. Two inches. And that should be good. We'll sketch again. Now we're gonna make the bolt pattern. So you could do one bolt pattern, but that's more of a race car. So I'm gonna do five bolts. Start at the top. That's the most easy way. Now you can do it. Let's see, do it point five. Cause we're gonna have the bolt sticking out of it. Like a street car, then circle of pattern, Look tight around this dot five. and then just put a hole in it. Let's see, it's good. So you could have did. One hole in there, a screw five bolt um, feature pattern. Yeah, other way. I'm not sure if that other way went through. I don't think so. Yeah, that other way went through. So, go. I'm gonna paint this to like a metallic black anyway. And yeah, let's see. Now I wanna do some more details on these rims before I call it a day. Because overall I can start on the time but I'm just doing the rims a little bit. Uh, let's see. So let's chaffer. I'm gonna do the inside. That should be good. 
to this point, I would recommend saving it. There have been so many times I don't save it and like the system crashed because you did too many edits and your processor slowed down. Yeah, look how that look. And it came out exactly where I wanted, but it came just as good enough. So let's go ahead and save this. Demo tiger, demo build. Good to go. And let's see. Let's go ahead and start on that tiger. So we moved this work plane physical. As you can leave. So you know exactly where the other way goes. Let's see, yes, no, yeah, that's it. Make this side visible. Because the other work plane was act as the center. And new sketch. So, let's gonna do this tire. Look here, I should just start saving a tide. <laughs> just for safekeeping. So I try to make it a little bit flat, but round it out. I'm just going to have make flat wall and just a curve. So keep it simple. So make a line and you just mirror both the sides. So copy that, this, that, and mirror that line. Now we could join them. And we're gonna join the bottom. Now the bottom is kind of tricky because you don't see exactly where the line is at. So you just make sure it connect to that green dot. But sometimes that green dot connect to the other object. So watch out for that. So this is the middle line. And we just gonna rotate that around the line. We use the revolve feature. And finish sketch. Revolve right here. That's how you evolve items. And yep. 
that's the full sketch right there and let's find out long that says right there and voila it's gonna be a tire so it's already looking pretty good so far so at this point let's go ahead and remove these well I think we might be able to use them let's just save one more time I put my save reminder every five minutes or so I think uh, let's see. Let's see, can I use that I don't think I can use that so I might have used this plan yeah I can use it I can't okay. so we're gonna make offset from plane no, not that way. Offset from plane right there. Go up. Choose like right here. That feels good. Like that. And remove the other ones. Visibility, visibility, and let's start making some trade. New sketch. So let's see what type of sketch uh, this trade we should go with. So I'm thinking like this. I'm not gonna go too hard, but something simple. Also, sometimes you can't see like that, so go to slice graphics. So, they help you see a little. So it looked like I'm just doing random objects, but you see in the end result. Because if I should explain it to you now, you'd be like, what? What he's talking about? <laughs> if you're not already saying that. <laughs> so put a little bigger one right here. Wow, got a long way to go. So let's So we're going to mirror that. So this is how you mirror a bunch of items. So uh, got to do that. And let's go mirror it. Mirror this line right here. Done. And now let's. I think that should be good.
Now, it's two ways in making shreds. I'm gonna show you to see if I can do it the first way. Sometimes the first way is harder, but it is pretty good in bulk. So like that. Like that, like that. Because the impulse will curve automatically curve around the object. Without just a screw then we'll just put a hole in it. So you have jagged edges sometimes. But sometimes it's a little hard to do use a screw the impulse feature. So stamp in, go to in uh let's see three dealt okay let's see how it did what the hope it didn't so like I was saying apparently it worked but it didn't now one way could be a thing about that if let me move this up edit dimension sometimes if it's already inside the future it might just work like that Feature visible. Try that in both again. It's a lot of variables to make the embossed uh, work. So if this doesn't work, I'll show you the other way. Cut in, what to face that didn't work. So, yeah, there you go. I think that's what's problem with the first way. So it did work. So we move this visible. Now we get to wrap that around a reel and we use circular pattern on that and that. Wait, no, I didn't do it right. Circular pattern, the automatic. This circle any feature and we circle this axis. Now we have to connect all of these together. So it's just put 60. See how that works. I think that might be too many. Let's see. Let's see. 30. So the point is connected to each other. And it looks like it's connected. Wow, these not overlapping. But let's see what that looks like. Now, this is a very CPU intense. So, really make sure you have a decent computer. And it worked out pretty well. Actually, I think it might be a little too many, but uh, I don't like that middle tree, and I feel like it's too deep anyway. So, just in case, go back to the second embossed. We're gonna let's make it less deep. Edit feature. Let's see. Redefine. So, hit a feature, go to one centimeter deep, one point one inch deep. So, I gotta recalculate a whole bunch of stuff. Yeah, I kind of like that one. The first one was kind of deep. Now in this situation, I can leave it because it's just one point part of the reel. But let me see if I can fix that. Circle of pattern. Edit feature. Let's do. I 
Okay, that fits that little section right there. Oh no, that just sticking out. See? Versus this. But let's go to 20. See how that look. The uh, 24, 26, 28. Let's see how it looks. Kind of like them better. I think the first one was a little too much. But yeah, that little spot is right here. But overall, in the 3D design, you could pretty much ignore that because that would be at the bottom at the ground. And nobody ever see it. So let's kind of assign materials. So let's see. This going to be black. No gun metal. Favorites, just easy make the gun metal polish. New sketch, split that letter. Solid. Okay, I do. Split faces. this so I'm do the middle part and the color me that stainless steel <laughs> or silver whatever matter So I'm just assigning the colors right now and put that red. Well, titanium. That stainless polish. So I think I messed up a little bit. But small black. I can like it already. But back to this. Make this blue. The favorites. We'll have so many options. Let's 
Little navy. So this is not gonna have finally paint the stuff. I use that in the rendering program. This is just to design it and assign colors. I knew it's gonna do the whole thing. I do. It's not exactly how I want to design this build, but it was good enough and it's pretty easy to create. I might show y'all the winning part. Yeah, I think that's good enough. Let me show these right here. Be good. How this? How this? How this? How this? How this? So good. Think that's good. And that's gonna call it this. Like and subscribe if you like the video. And subscribe if you see more cup if you want to see more content.